Hello traders, welcome to another exciting video on Trading Girl. And before we proceed with this video, I would like to discuss on something that has been happening very uh, more of recently in the algo trading industry. So there's been a lot of scams lately in the algo trading industry. Uh, most people get to purchase softwares and uh, where the developer tells them that it does something when in reality it does something else and they pay huge sums of money for these systems especially exe files or executable files and you know believe that it does something because probably developer shows videos of you know the forex robots making a lot of money or you know uh, them buying cars or something and then the users tend to believe that uh the algo trading bots makes a lot of money and then they purchase it and uh also especially when it comes to the new trend ai a lot of people call bots you know several ai names and this ai does some advanced stuff and a lot of people get to purchase it believing that you know it makes money or it's some kind of advanced algorithm that you know could kill the market or could make a lot of money when in reality it's not it's just some scheme designed to rob people of their funds and uh, this is not the path we want to take on trading kennel especially when it comes to third party systems which is why we decided to start releasing strategy files and strategy reports instead these strategy files are going to come with python scripts that are open and you can actually see what is going on in the strategy so everything that we see here would be exactly what it is in the strategy so you're hundred percent sure of what you're trading with and they're also going to come with mt5 indicators trading view indicators and you know the jupyter notebook of the financial analysis we did so in case you want to make you know configurations or modifications in the future you can use these two and most of these uh, strategies would have a pretty high sharp ratio probably above 2.0 or 1.8 could definitely enhance your trading so the first strategy we are going to be looking at today is the weak momentum reversal strategy now this strategy is a pattern based strategy for AUDJPY on the one hour time frame it has a sharp ratio of 2.0 and it includes a python script an mt5 indicator a trading view indicator and the jupyter notebook of the financial analysis we did here so you can see the mt5 indicator here and you can also see the trading view indicator here now this is available on trading channel for just 25 dollars only you can add this to cart and purchase this and once you do, you're going to get access to all of these files okay so down here you can also see the full strategy report so i'm just going to click on this here and open this in a new tab now this is the strategy report here and this strategy report would be free and accessible to everyone so whether you're a manual trader or you're a researcher and you want to write a strategy report uh, for a particular pair you're looking for a strategy with a high sharp ratio you can read the strategy report and the idea is for you to understand how the strategy works before purchasing the strategy files okay so this is the strategy report here and this is the strategy returns versus buy and hold so this is the plot of the strategy returns uh, as compared to buy and hold so the blue line here is the actual strategy and three lines here is the buy and hold so if you buy and hold adjpy from the start of 2023 up to the 10th of the 1st of october 2024 this is what's going to look like versus the strategy now this is a strategy 2024 performance and this is the strategy 2023's performance okay so let's look at the strategy overview strategy type is pattern trading and the security is a forex pair which is a gpy and the time frame is one hour and the testing period was done from january 1st of 2023 down to the 1st of October 2024 this was where the testing uh, was done on and the position frequency takes about 1.3 trades or positions per day now this could actually go for days uh, weeks without actually trading but the average is 1.3 trades per day uh, this is a pattern so it wouldn't trade until that pattern or when that pattern occurs all right so the indicator used here was AHL CV data and the fact discovered during this strategy 
uh, is that during the testing period, which is between uh, this date here and this date here, when the pattern occurred, the probability of the next candle being uh, bullish exceeded 60% slightly. Okay, and the pattern is characterized by a longer upper week than the lower week, a prior candlestick showing an opposite relationship, which is a shorter upper week than the lower week, an increasing candlestick body length signaling strengthening momentum, a closing price higher than the opening price, which means a bullish candle here. Okay, when this pattern occurs, we open a buy position at the open of the next candle, right? And then we close that position at the close of the next candle. And we did this, and this was how we were able to get this performance here. Okay, and also so this strategy has time constraints, so it avoids signals during the market close, which is after 10 p.m. to 1 p.m. Okay, so in case you are using a different time zone, check which hour this falls under and avoid trading during these hours. Okay, so let's look at the strategy overall performance here. So we have the CAGR, which is the compound annual growth rate, which is 8.28% per year. The annualized mean is 7.25%. The annualized standard deviation is 2.986%. Uh, so this means you're risking 2.9% uh, in order to make 8% per year on average. And the sharp ratio here is 2.8. And the maximum drawdown here is 2.67%. And the karma ratio here is 3.10 and the maximum drawdown duration uh, was for 66 candles okay 66 candles uh, which is 66 hours not days okay i'm going to change this 66 hours and the kelly criterion here is 91.40 percent which is uh, uh pretty high uh these metrics demonstrate consistent performance with minimal drawdowns making it suitable for traders seeking a uh, steady growth and a uh, manageable risk all right, so let's look at the risk management section here. So the maximum drawdown here was 2.67%. This is non-leveraged. Okay, so traders should configure your position lot size and leverage to prevent significant portfolio impact. I'm going to be explaining this when we are looking at the Shreya framework. Okay, also very little optimization was done on the weak momentum reversal strategy as to avoid overfitting. Uh, if you notice in this strategy, we didn't include any numbers, we didn't include any stop loss or take profit. This is a core pattern that was discovered, just like how you know you have your uh, bullish hammer, your bearish hammer. This was a core pattern that was discovered, and we tried to create a strategy around this pattern. Now, this pattern is not going to last forever, or this fact here. Uh, that you see here it's not going to last forever it could probably die off as all strategies do die but the fact of it is that it's currently working now or it's currently worked during this uh, duration and it's very likely to continue working for a period of time okay so we simply discovered that when this eight pattern occurs the scenarios with positive returns are just enough to cover for the scenarios with negative returns and the cumulative trading costs. Right. And the strategy resource files comes with the Python scripts, the MT5 indicator, the trading view indicator, and the financial analysis notebook file, as I've mentioned previously. So you can see here on my MT5 here, this is the indicator here. So right click here, click on the indicator list. You can see the indicator here. So you can just add this to your MT5 and proceed to use it. Now remember, this is only for AUD JPY on the one hour time frame so please do not use this on maybe 30 minutes time frame or the 15 minutes time frame uh that was not where the analysis was done on or any other symbol we didn't do it on any other symbol it was just specifically for audjpy on the one hour time frame okay so you can also see the trading view indicator here audjpy on the one hour time frame and also there might be some you know differences because of the data provided by different brokers so sometimes you might have a signal on one broker and you might not have a signal on another broker so please just take note of that now let me show you guys this on the shreya framework so this is the shreya framework here and i'm going to add the symbol here so aud jpy 
and I'm going to select no and I'm going to set my lot size to 1.0 and the time frame here is going to be one hour and I'm just going to add my MT5 path here. And for the strategy, I'm going to select the weak reversal momentum strategy and I'm going to save this in a database called trader.db. Now this file here is included in my strategies folder um, in the folder where you installed the Shreya for MT5. Okay, so if you go to that folder, you download the .py file from trading kernel, you can copy it and paste it there. Alright, so I'm just going to update this here and if I head over to my back test here and I head over to my MT5 and I click on view and view the market watch, you can see the symbol, the spread for EDJPY. So let's look what the spread for EDJPY currently. It's set to 9. So I'm just going to set this here to 10 and I'm going to set this to 0 0.001, which is the point value for EDJPY. So I'm going to set my take profit to 0, stop loss to 0 and I'm going to click on back test here. So you can see here, this is the current back test here and you can see what we have here is exactly the same as what you can see on the strategy report here. Okay, so this is 2024 and this is 2023 here. Okay, so if you wish to trade with this strategy and you wish to use a stop loss and your take profits or an equity lock, you could look at this uh trading sessions here so this is a plot of the cumulative tra um, trading sessions these are the scenarios where we've had positive returns and these are the scenarios where we've had negative returns so you can see this is about 0.5 percent and you can see this is about one percent here so you can look at the scenarios here and place your stop loss at a point where hasn't been hit before by this strategy okay so you can place your stop loss at maybe to, um Maybe so maybe you can place your stop loss maybe at 1% here and maybe at 1.5% here. So if your stop loss gets to be hit, it's a scenario that hasn't happened before. Okay, so once you're done with that, you can select everything and then you can click on start trading in order to start trading with this strategy. All right, guys, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at Trading Kennel. I'm more than happy to assist you. So guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.